Hey guys, welcome to this uh, web development screencast. And this one, I'm, I'm gonna make a PHP login with multiple users, and the source will be in the description. Um, this is gonna be faster, uh, a bit faster because uh, the last one I did took way too long. So let's try and get this done. Okay, so um, the first thing I'm gonna do is start off by letting sessions uh, be allowed on the page, uh, so we can start it. Um, second, we're going to uh, this is for my local server it does this a lot it gives me an error when there's a variable not set so I'm just gonna put this in notebook dash okay alright so let's start creating some variables the first variable is gonna be submit which equals post submit username equals post username I usually don't code like this but for tutorial purposes I will password equals post password alright so we'll put uh, field submit uh, field username field password and then we're going to create an array called username usernames so I'll start by doing this so we'll just going to put here uh, username okay so the first one will be uh, admin Next will be Timmy, and I guess I'll put YouTube. All right, so let's put our passwords. Um, this one will be uh, root. Oh, actually, we have to put in the the name of the account first. So, so first we'll put in uh, admin, and then admin's password will be root. We'll put in uh, Timmy, which is my name, and I'll put in. Um, OMG. Uh, YouTube. We'll put in. Uh, we'll put in. Uh, let's see, Guru. Right. So the next variable we're gonna create is a uh, found password, which I'll explain right now. Found password is going to be when we submit our form and we have a username and password. Username if it does have a match with any of these users we're gonna pick the password alright so to do that we're gonna do you um, passwords and then inside passwords we're gonna call out uh, we're gonna call out the password from the array so this is the password right here this is the username right so once we've done that we're gonna start by creating a form real quick. Well, what we do now, we could do now is create a form. All right, and I'll say action equals index.php. Um, method equals post, and let's see, I have some stuff post. Um, this is from before actually. This is what it's gonna look like. So I'll put in these right here. These fields. Again, source will be in the description because I know some of you guys are lazy and you don't want to know how this works. But that's okay. That's why I'm putting those notes there. So name equals submit, value equals login. All right. So let's see what we have. Oops. Okay. There we go. Okay. Um. Okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, <coughs> we can check to see if the form would, was submitted. So if it's set, submit. And uh, once we've done that, we're going to check to see if the username and then password were submitted. And we'll put here set in between. Okay. If it didn't, we're gonna give them a message saying "f you." No, I'm stop. Um, <laughs> we're gonna give them a message uh, saying to fill in all the fields. So fill in all the input fields. Um. All right. So 
guys, I don't even know what happened there, guys. <laughs> so I'll do it again. Sorry, this is really unplanned. Okay, so I'm just gonna do if empty username. Then we'll do die. Uh, please submit the username field. All right, and we'll uh, copy this again. Okay, and clip will be password. See what happens now. Alright, please submit the username field. We'll do it. Please submit the password field. We'll do both. And then nothing happens. Okay. So then we'll do uh, exit real quick. Alright. So we're now going to check to see if the password equal equals the found password. Then this means that we have uh, we we have a match. Um, I also will say uh, die. Actually, I'm missing something. Sorry, I went ahead. Okay, before this, we're gonna check to see if the username exists. So to do that, we're gonna say if an array, and we'll say username from user name, and we'll come down here. This means that the username was found. If we didn't, we'll say die username doesn't exist. Okay. So let's see what we can come up with. I'll put in some random words. We get username doesn't exist. I'll put in admin. And uh, we didn't get any me uh, error messages because we found a match. So now we're going to check to see if the passwords do uh, match. Then we'll echo success. we didn't so we'll say die uh, password was incorrect all right and we should get password is incorrect we do uh, admin we do root and we'll do that then okay admin root we get success okay so uh, that we since we did that we could create a session so we'll say session stop uh, yeah we'll say session admin equals one we go one and session uh, user name equals username and we'll say echo uh, username uh, we'll say welcome username and then we'll give them a link to member or we'll say admin.php or I don't know uh, member.php that's gonna do that so we'll say member well this is for uh, an admin yeah so we'll, we'll just say member page this is including admin in this tutorial but okay so we'll do this we'll say uh, username is admin root uh, welcome to the admin or welcome admin go to the member page and let's get rid of this form by checking to see if the user is already logged in so it will say if we set session username or or session admin is set okay and if it is we'll say this die You know what? We'll we'll just redirect them. Okay, which means a uh, person logged in. Okay. So there we go. We got a memory.php which doesn't exist. All right. So this will be part one of this tutorial. In the next one, we will cover memory.php and also logout.php. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you.